Welcome everyone, my name is Comet and today I have for you the first episode of Stardew Valley. I know a lot of people are playing this game at the moment and I thought it would be the perfect time to bring this to the channel because there's been huge changes into the game this year and in the, par in the past few months. So it's time to get in and enjoy these amazing things that they added into the game. And I haven't played in a very long time so uh, there might be so many many things that I do not know and I want you to come with me in this adventure as well because I think this is gonna be uh, fun we can discover all of this together so that said let's get into the story and for my very special grandson I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later, So we have a very standard office to work. Oh, is that Woody from Toy Story? <laughs> and here we are, look. Too much pressure, too much work, too many things to do. It's time. Dear Comet, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, the Cosmic Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. So this is the name that I put to my farm, yeah, the Cosmic Farm. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Louis is still alive, say hi to the old guy from me, will you? And so... Because we do not want to be with the stress life of the office work, we went in to the Stardew Valley. You cheek. Hello, you must be Comet. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Major Louis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right. Uh, he's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. 
So in this game, for those of you that are new to Stardew Valley, uh, in this game you have the possibility to um, build on your farm, but also you can, you know, chat with other townspeople. So this is one of those, and this is usually how it goes. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. This is Cosmic Farm. <laughs> There's a lot to clean up. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. You will also be able to add decorations and improve on the house later on. And I have many plans, you know, for this series, so I'm excited to see uh, if you like, if you guys enjoy these. Um, and if you do, I'm gonna continue uploading more and more of these. And if you want more, let me know in the comments. And please remember to subscribe because that helps me a lot. You know, I want to reach 1,000 subs this year, and um, if you subscribe, that will help me massively. That's the way you can support me at the moment. Aha! The new farmer! Oh look, it's Louis! It's the dude that our grandpa was talking about. Welcome, I am Louis, Major of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> rustic? That's one way to put it. <laughs> Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Hey, that's rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Comet. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house's upgrades. Hey! Haha! <laughs> we found the truth. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. That's really cool. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> and just like that, my first day of Stardew Valley begins. <laughs> We are right here. I'm so happy for this. Now, we do have a gift. I think it's from the people. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. So we have some seeds now that we can start planting. And here are the instructions. Let me just read some of these. I know this is actually the quest. So we, we need to meet all of the townspeople out there. Some of them we were not gonna be able to meet just yet because they only are available at specific times. And that is one of the things that I like about the game. But we can meet uh, everyone else otherwise. And our first, uh, our first quest is to plant and cultivate this parsnip. So for that though, we're gonna need to clean this entire area. And look at this, we do have a few tools. We have an axe, a hoe, uh, watering, watering can, pickaxe, scythe, and the pars uh, parsnip seed. So let me clean this area. And every time you do some of these, if you need to um, start your valley, keep in mind that you use energy. Because I've seen a lot of people start uh, to play the game, and then they, they get so focused on the, 
uh, on working that they forget that they have energy to spend over here. And if you use all your energy, you're not gonna be able to do other stuff uh, in town. And I do want to do other stuff in town, so what I'm gonna do is... For now... Clear the saddle. Just clean it up a bit. That way we can start having our first plan. Uh, our first um, plantations. Area from the wood. Stone. Man, this, the sounds of Tardew Valley are so well made. Ah, oh, they're so satisfying. Oh, it's so good. Just, just hear, hear this up. And this game is made by one dude, by the way. And it, I don't know, it just is so perfect. It, it's everything is so well made. Cleaning up over here. The neutrons we have used a bit of energy. There we go. And when you run out of energy, you will not be able to do any other work or physical work. So keep that in mind. I would like to remove this tree though, just to have more, more of a space. So let me do that. I said, we be able to craft a few things. Nice, is really good. We got some sap, some wood. We didn't get... Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get any saplings, I think. Yeah, we didn't get any saplings. So what I want to do now is craft. I want to craft... A chest. We need 50 wood for that. Mm, I'm thinking a chest would be good. How much? 26. So we need to chop another tree to get enough wood for it. Now I have enough for a chest, and I'm gonna use that to store everything because you do have a limited amount of store uh, of inventory. You know, this is your inventory, but you will have to unlock this as you level up. So for now, because we only have one uh, area, I'm gonna put right here my general items. So let me put, for example, mixed seeds. So this is nice to have. Fiber. Stone, coal, and sap in there. I will be using the seeds though. And now it's, it's time to plant. Yeah, let's plant over here. I'm gonna start this side. One, two, three, four, and five. And one, two, three, four, five, I think. So one, two, three, four, five. Wait, I think it's there's one way just to check one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is perfect. Hopefully I don't run out of energy because it's still quite early. It's only eleven AM. So running out of energy at the moment will be bad because I wanna do a few other stuff. I wanna go and meet some people. Uh, of, the, of the town as well. So let's start planting all of these. And this is gonna be our first farm. Oh, oops. I had a lot less than I imagined. And then what I want to do though is plant the extra mixed seeds that I, that I have over here. So I'm gonna plant them right here. And I'm not there. 
you can destroy this by simply uh, hitting it. So how many I will need more? 10 more for 25. We can go and, in fact, we can take advantage of this moment to go and get more items because we can buy uh, more seeds. So let's go over there into the town. That way we can meet people and buy more stuff to plant. I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough energy for this stuff. Look, so this is the store. This is the store of the, the town. And this is the clinic, I think. There's people in here, so it's important to come sometimes to talk with them. That way you can meet them. Oh look! Hello there! Hello! You must be Comet. The farmer... Oh, you must be Comet, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Let's see. And this is the, the um, calendar. This is very important because a lot of these are special events that you need to um, to do. And when you see the um, the face of someone over here, that means that it's their birthday. And it's super important to um, give them a gift on their birthday because you're gonna increase the friendship of them, which uh, is uh, it's gonna allows you to do more stuff, you know. And it also will unlock new stuff into the game. So. We can uh, think about that next uh, weekend, or this weekend, we, we're gonna have the birthday of Luz. Now let's go inside. Oh look, this is Robin. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I oh, know this is Leia. This is new. Leia, you picked a good time to move here. The spring is uh, lovely. And also, when you get enough friendship with people, what you can do is um, enter all of these areas. For example, the bedrooms um, or the special rooms and everything from from the town's vault. Now let's see, because sometimes we can scavenge. Aha. Sometimes we can scavenge stuff over here. Altar. Okay, and this is the shop owner, which also lives over here. Let's speak with him. To speak with him, come over here. Hey, it's nice to. Hey, it's Mr. Comet, the new farmer. I am Pierre, owner of the lo of the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from your. Uh, I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agricultural could really inject new life into the local economy. So let's now buy. Oh, actually, let's sell some inventory slots. Oh, that's quite a lot of money. I don't have that kind of money. But let's see. Some parsnip seeds. Being starters. So cool. Oh, that sells trees. Oh, look, these are trees that you can cut, and then it will give um, a lot of fruits that you can use for other stuff, like for example, to make juice. Let's see, what do I buy from him? Get a starter. I think we can buy. I need 10, 10 parsnip just to start because I cannot plant anything else. I don't have that much money. It uh, grows pretty quickly, you know, it only grows, it, it grows in four days, so it's quite nice. Everything else takes quite a lot of time. Potatoes are extremely valuable um, as well, just seeds. Mm, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough energy to plant all of these today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue going around. I wanna see if I can buy something. By the way, you can also scavenge these. But be careful when you scavenge the trash because if a townsfolk looks at you or sees you, they are gonna have a special interaction that you want to avoid. 
Okay, there was nothing in there. So make sure you do this. Oh, there we go. We found something. A pine cone. There we go. And there's someone over here. Look. Hello there. Oh, aren't you the one who moved in? I am Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Now I'm sitting. There's more people. Foods and spirits. And this is the bar. Or the saloon. Hello there. Oh. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. So if you want to meet most people, most people will be gathering over here at the saloon um, when the evening begins. So make sure to come in by. That way you can meet everyone. And what I want to buy is something to increase my energy though. Let's see, a salad. Oh, this is expensive. Do you sell... A coke? No, it does not. So we we need to go into Oops, more people. Look, hello there. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Hello, Granny. Another one. This person is really nice. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. He's shy as well, but it's really nice. Is if you want some nice backstory, go and talk with her. And this dude is cool. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool, I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk, and we'll get along fine. There's also someone else around here. We can talk with. Here, this person. Ah, it's irritating to have to meet and ask these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, boss off. Yeah, at first, actually, I won't spoil much. But George is a bit grumpy. <gasps> Look, Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Shane has a... The story of Shane is really good as well. Uh, in fact, all of the stories are amazing. I love this game. Man. Now, let's see if we can buy some stuff. I would like to buy... I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be delighted to help make your experience... Uh, make your transition a joyous experience. Welcome to the Georgia Mart. How are you? We're currently in the process of setting up a brand new membership system for our customers. Please come and check back later. Now, I want to buy certain stuff. Georgia Cola. This is what I want because it gives you a bit more energy. I'm going to buy two of those. Just so that I can make sure um, that I have everything that I want to plant my seeds. So I'm going to... I think it's 6 p.m. and this is the time usually where I think it's just this is the time where a lot of people start gathering over here. Look. We already see some people. It gets more lively in specific days of the of the week as well. Now I start with him and I haven't talked with him yet. Hello there, I'm Gus. Chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Welcome to the Stardrop Saloon. Can I get anything for you? Okay. Now that I have all of these, there's a lot more people to meet. Oh, here's her. Stuck with her. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. 
Hmm. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might be you might actually be cute. Now, um Haley right here, it might sound very superficial at first. In fact, it's gonna take a very long time. Uh where she's just gonna be very superficial. Um but do not judge her. She's a good person. Just uh, she really cares about her images, which is not a bad thing. Okay, this dude is locked up in her bedroom. And I think it's time for us to go back into our farm and finish everything up. You know, I want to plant the remaining parsnip and I think I'm going to end the episode just right there. We made a nice amount of people and also I do have an advice for all of you. Let's see if we can find... No. I haven't found anything just yet. Mm. Okay, before it gets too late, I'm gonna plant all of this. And you need to water it as well. So, this is what's gonna be using most of our energy. So, these plants are gonna be ready on the weekend. I should be ready by then. There we go. So, the weekend is gonna be recollection day or harvesting day. So, I think that's how it's called. Harvesting day. Look, I'm running out of energy. So, I did have enough, which is nice. And now, let's see if we can find something. I wanna show you something before it gets too late. It's very important, especially if you have never played Stardew Valley before. Let me see if I can find something up in here. I don't see any. No. It's getting very late though. You need to be careful. These things! Now, if you see this thing right here, uh, you can barely see it. Fuck, it sucks. Uh, basically, this is um, a little moving plant that when you remove it with your hoe, you're gonna get items from it. Look at that. And um, if you are lucky, you are gonna get the most valuable seed in the entire game by a huge margin. So if you see any of those moving uh, things, make sure to just use your hoe on it because it's always worth it. Let's see if we can find some stuff before it gets too late. It's almost midnight. Now, if it gets too late, you will um, basically get sent to the hospital or get sent back home but you're gonna wake up with a very low energy so make sure to sleep before midnight or by the time that midnight comes uh, don't let it go too late i couldn't find any at daytime but that's it let's go into my house and we can end the episode just right here Oh, I have more mixed seeds. Um, oops, but I don't have much energy, so let's just go to sleep for now. You can also watch some TV if you want. Look, let's go and sleep. This is also how you save uh, your file. You know, by going to sleep, you save your file, but it will also end the day and it will begin the next day. So make sure. Um, you are careful about this because um, when you switch day, that also means that new events can come or that might, that might mean that you might have missed an event or something like that. But for me, the day is done and it's time to go for the next day. And a new day begins. And I think I'm going to end the episode just right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my first ever episode in my channel of Stardew Valley. Oh, look. A little bird. <laughs> um, this was my first ever episode of Stardew Valley. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Comet and on the next episode we are going to continue our adventures. We started nice plantations over here. 
but this is just the beginning you know I want to make this farm have so many things and I want this to be a really good farm what I do wonder though is that I had a little doggy for a little kitty I don't know what she is where's my little kitty maybe she's gonna come in the future Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Comet. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to subscribe. That helps me massively. I want to reach that 1,000 subscribers this month. That way I can bring uh, more gameplay, more games. And if you want any specific thing that I do in this game, or if, if you want anything that... Uh, or any new game or anything, just let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. For now though, thank you so much for watching. My name is Comet and I am signing out. Peace!